these these books now i was again i was listening to the bob and brad podcast so i think if you really want to dig a bit deeper and get more technical i think that's that's a great podcast out there they got a huge following um on that side you had a, a phrase you're saying to maximize your glute gluteus oh, yeah. <laughs> could you elaborate on that a bit more <laughs> yeah well um when i my first book at, at the end of the first book which is called muscle energy techniques uh, which is basically like um like a form of contracting a muscle to allow it to relax to then the therapist would then lengthen so it's like normalizing muscle length um, at the end of it i wrote a section on on weakness of muscles and in particular i talked about the gluteus maximus and the gluteus medius and then my publisher says well why don't you write a book just on the glutes so i wrote an article first and i called it put in maximus back into your gluteus okay yes this and um and it went down really well so people liked the article you know I'd, i had hundreds of comments saying you know or could you write a lot more about the glutes um etc etc so then and there's another funny story because i had a place in turkey and i was right i was starting to write this book and my son said dad you know i know you've written one book what are you writing about now and i said well i'm writing about and i had it was hard to to talk to 11 year old boy about um, like the gluteus maximus and its function and the anatomy. So I said, oh, I'm just writing about your bum, the bum muscles. He's like, Dad, that is so weird. <laughs> I'm going to tell all my friends you're just a weirdo. He said, what is there to say the bum muscles are just big and squidgy? And then he said, how many words have I written about the bum? And I said, well, I've done 11,400 and something. And he's like, you've written 11,500 words just on the bum. I go, well, yeah. And a year later, I'd written, say, 65,000 words. And he, my son could not believe I could write so much about one small area. But honestly, you know, and I called it the vital glutes because the, the, the glutes is so key to stability of the pelvis, the hip, the knee, the ankle, and the foot. So if you have a problem with the knee, one of the main focus could be that you would look at the activation, the control of the gluteus. Yeah, I had a, a major issue with my left knee. And it would happen every couple of years where... Just out of nowhere, I couldn't even do a body squat. Yeah. And uh, there was a really good physiotherapist. It's, I've seen so many people on this island for, for to try to treat this. And there's one in Chalong, kind of off Tiger Road. I, I can't recall the name. Um, but basically, he, he ended up finding out, like, I, from the squats I was do, doing, I was using my right quad more than the left. Yeah. And then there was just atrophy. The, the muscle wasn't even working. And he basically, I was just doing physio and just would go into the gym and build this muscle up and that went away immediately yeah okay if you enjoyed this content we're doing five clips like this a week if you want to watch the full podcast click here